This past week has been really a ZEC versus the MDC Alliance week, with all other opposition parties doing press releases and press conferences about the simple things of the ballot. So today, we will analyze what's with the back and forth with ZEC, what's making grown people fail to reach a consensus around this election. Like any other story, there's two sides to it. The MDC Alliance being the loudest voice to voice out these concerns is the main character. Other political parties, well, like I said before, they've done their press releases. The main concern is that the specimen of the ballot paper is not known to political parties, especially that of the presidential race. Well, it is the most contentious one. Also responding to the invitation to view the ballot paper printing, they were only allowed to be in the gallery view of the printers and not the process of printing of the ballot paper. Zach has also responded in regards to these concerns, and mostly by using the law to back itself up as an institution. The biggest answer to both these concerns was that ZEC is an independent body and nobody must temper around with that or tell them how to do their job unless they were breaking the law for which they will have the courts to go to and answer to them and not to anybody else. Therefore, in as far as the specimen ballot is concerned, people will only see it when they are done with the printing and it's shown to everybody who is an election stakeholder. As for the printing, in the gallery standing 10 meters away, it was a courtesy extended to all political parties, and Zek feels strongly that they must not abuse this courtesy. Zek has also stated that in the meetings that they called for, designed to build some sort of consensus, which people like this PhD holder here have disrupted the meetings, and hence it has also resorted to go on without having to build consensus with anyone, claiming that they will stick to the fact that they're an independent body and continue with what they have to do, which is to deliver an election on the 30th of July. My analysis based on these two angles is that the electoral law cannot be changed at this moment. Therefore, we must elect the right-minded people into parliament to make sure that we don't face the same BS in 2023 when it comes to the electoral law. For now, the election must go on. However, ZEP being a law-oriented institution and carrying a legacy of unfair practices under the leadership of Justice Makarao must consider the spirit of the law and not the letter of the law, so as to sound and seem fair to everyone. The match that was held today by the MDC Alliance will not be for electoral reform, but a show of power as the only formidable opposition party. They cannot pull out of the election because there'll be other people to validate that election. At the same time, they cannot make this country ungovernable or stop the election because that is exactly what ZANU-PF wants them to do. We have seen a peaceful march and that has painted the town red. So 30 July, it is on. To help rectify Zek's shortcomings, go and vote. Nothing is decided until you cast your ballot. Don't be fooled to think that everything is already decided. Nothing is decided. You and your family will be the ones to decide your councillor, your member of parliament, and your presidential candidate. Today, I'd like to thank Sir... <laughs> Today, I'd like to thank Strategic Sound Design for allowing us to use their studio and produce this video for you. For more information, contact them on the number below for any multimedia services that you'll need to be done for you.